Hello everybody! Griffin, you already had breakfast. Uh, today's a virtual learning day. It's a very busy day. Uh, I have to take Griffin and Sawyer to meet their teachers and the teachers are actually really cool. Um, I have all the kids. They're gonna meet us out in the car and they're just gonna say hello to the boys. Um, so that'll happen in a few hours, which is great because they start school next week. Ah, uh, and um, what else is happening? Uh, we have three therapists today. One had to reschedule for tonight because of, I don't know, something happened. All is well. And we're just super, super busy. <laughs> There's lots of things going on. Lots of therapists. We've got to pick up the house. Um, we've had, oh yeah, update on the house. We've had, I think, four showings. We're, we're going to have four showings by Friday. Um, no offers yet. Uh, just, just waiting. What are you, I don't want to make. I don't make. And so right now with Sawyer, um, I am, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I am trying potty training again. Uh, it's not going well, but <laughs> uh, he's in pull-ups. And uh, I got number stickers, because he loves numbers. I have a little piece of paper he puts numbers on every time he sits on the potty. And I'm just putting him on it once an hour, trying to connect it. Like I said, like he knows where his penis, you know, the penis has pee pee. And like he's saying the words. I don't know if he's understanding what he's saying. Again, like I'm not sure the comprehension, but I'm trying again. It's hard, the research online is so, um, I don't know, it's not clear. Every kid's different. I've heard they use ABA therapy. I've heard wait till they're older, don't push it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep experimenting until we find something that works. Uh, I just, I don't know, it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm a new, new to this autism mom world. And um, I don't know. It could be years, it could be months, it could be tomorrow. No. Just trying to try something new, um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose hope or get upset or you know feel like a failure if it doesn't work because this is like our fifth attempt I think. Uh, but just trying something new, just every hour, and we have the number stickers as a reward and to um, have them like repeat where it comes from. That's what I'm doing right now. I'll let you know how it goes, but I am hopeful, but I'm not. You know, I'm not hanging my hook, my hat on this hook, if you know what I mean. That was the weirdest analogy. Sorry. Virtual learning started upstairs. We got some babies down here, over, some babies up. Over, ah. You. Where's Lindy? She snuck down. She's so fast. There she is playing dolls. She's so cute. So cute. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting your exercise? Hmm. Good job. Where are you going? Trying to get into things that aren't yours. To lock everything because of this man. Everything. No. Oh no, it fell. Can I help? Did you make a boom boom? Did you make a boom boom? I think you did. I got to change your diaper. A boom boom. Griffin. He has freedom and he's still never happy. This kid loves to drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, but it's interesting. I was watching another YouTube video about potty training. And one suggestion they had, which I haven't tried yet, and I think it's a smart idea, is putting underwear on and then a pull up over the underwear. So the underwear gets wet and they feel it. Um, Cause that's interesting. I haven't thought of that. Cause like my biggest thing is underwear with him, which we've tried, just pee everywhere. So that's a good idea. I don't know. I've never thought of that before. So maybe in the next few days I will try that. But I don't know. We'll see. So I just sat swimming in the potty again, and it didn't go well. <laughs> he well, he was fine sitting on it. He wasn't upset. But I got the sticker numbers and I have a, a piece of paper. I know it's an envelope I tore up because I couldn't find paper. I think he didn't care. To make numbers, you know, that's what he earned his reward for sitting there. And uh, he got really upset at me taking the numbers off of here. So, I don't know. I'll let him hold it when he sits on the potty now. But I don't know. He probably isn't ready. But I'm never going to give up. I mean, I'm going to keep trying. Like, have, just leave, get him to sit on it. I just don't want, to have, I don't want him to freak out, you know? I don't want him to scream or throw a fit or hit me or, you know what I mean? So, 
if we just get them used to sitting on the potty, maybe it'll start connecting just every day, maybe five or six times sitting on it. I don't know. So yeah, I think we're gonna end this part of the video about potty training unless something changes. I will update you, but um, we're gonna keep trying. Okay, everybody's ready to go. We're just waiting for Harrison to finish his next virtual class. Sawyer keeps turning the volume on really loud. Turn it down. At least he understands now. If I say turn on the volume to Sawyer, he will do it. But within 10 minutes, he'll turn it back up. It's a battle. I think I probably say it 100 times a day, probably. <laughs> it feels like that. Probably not this much. But whenever he's a tablet, it's like a, it's like a battle between me and him. Really is win, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got everybody in the car. We're all ready to go to meet Griffin and Sawyer's new preschool teacher. I'm not giving you any more bubble wrap. That's all you get. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we're just waiting for the teachers to come out. Um, got their physicals I gotta drop off too. Um, we're just waiting. <laughs> we're just waiting. Excited? Excited to meet your teacher? Yeah. Well, as you can hear, Sawyer had, a, had some issues, but um, it's it's what it is, and um, he wanted out. He didn't want to wait in the car when everyone was there. It's okay. We're going to head home right now, okay? And what's good is that I can park here in this kindergarten parking lot because I have a kindergartner, which is super helpful. Um, so I'll get here early so I can get Harrison to the front, and then I can get Wynn and the boys to their classroom. It's gonna be hard because it's kind of far away, um, but I bought another double stroller, so I, <laughs> I'm hoping that'll help. It's just gonna be um, a learning curve, if you know what I mean. It's, <laughs> I think I think they'll, they'll help me out too once they see the struggle, uh, but uh, I think it's gonna be okay. All right, I gotta get home because Griff Harrison has another class at 11.20, so yeah, right, let's go. Well, having a real moment with you because it's life I'm sharing. Um, Sawyer had a huge meltdown after his therapist. He does not like when they leave. He loves the one-on-one -on -one time, which of course, he loves that they focus around numbers and letters. He's still having our time because my punishment is no tablet time and he's feeling it. I, I don't know if this works. I don't even know if, is this even the right decision? I just feel like not reacting at all is not is is inappropriate because he's he is causing a huge scene. And then this brought me back to um, a video I saw before I knew Sawyer was autistic many years ago. I think it's called Cooper's Voice. Finding Cooper's Voice. I don't. I can't remember. Um, and she did the video where her older uh, his first son had a meltdown in public and this is now happening and it's not okay this is and it, it, this is awful and um i i i don't know how to help him guys stop sawyer's getting don't hit you want to come sit with me you want to come sit with me come here it's been going on for a while i'm at the point where he might have to go to his room if he doesn't calm down yeah. soon. But, I mean, he's got good moments. No, I no tablet, yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, you want to go sit down? Nice teeth, nice tongue. So I'm going to be real. I have, I got fear. I got real, real big fear Ooh. that uh, mm. what our lives are going to look mm. like mm. when we can't go out in public again. And I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. So I, I contacted Stephanie from Landing Crew about ABA therapy. Uh, I think Sawyer super needs it. And, um, you know, and I know it's controversial. I don't really know exactly why it's controversial, but people say it is. But, um, you know, I'm always here. So if anything goes wrong, I'm here. Uh, but Sawyer needs some, Whoa, some behavioral stuff super bad. And I mean, it's crazy because my other kids are pretty well behaved and it's amazing that the normal parenting like that I do does not work for an autistic child. It does not work and I, I literally don't even know what works for an autistic kid at all. Uh, I've tried talking, I've tried yelling, I've tried taking things away. It's just really sad, he just has a breakdown. He's having breakdowns like three or four times a day now.
and I'm, I'm scared. But um, mm -hmm. we were gonna handle it like we always do. But I'm just sharing because I know there's other moms out there that have gone through this and maybe if you're an autistic mom and you've been through this, you can give me some hope or, or guidance or ideas on how to help him. And I know a lot of people like, he's frustrated, like he's trying to communicate. I, I, I'm, I don't know how I'm not responding properly if that's the case. Like how, Griffin, please stop shaking the gate. How am I not responding properly for him to know that I hear him? Uh, all right, well, I gotta go tend to Sawyer. <gasps> don't try to tackle his brother. They're trying to... When you're upset, you don't tackle Griffin. No, can, Griffin, can you say, really say sorry? Go. Can you say sorry? Say sorry. Ooh, Are you handsome? Are you handsome? I've been bored. I know, you're changing your diaper. Yeah. And potty training kind of went out the window today because of all the meltdowns. No. But we'll keep trying. So PT is here and Griffin's downstairs. So I had another meltdown because he wanted to go first, but I don't have him go first because letting go of the teacher is really hard for him. So I got him strawberries. I got him his little number thing and I put his favorite TV show on. I did not give him his tablet because he has not earned it back. <laughs> um, but I did call the ABA therapist that Stephanie recommended, the company, and I did all the stuff over the phone. They're supposed to contact me in a week, and I'm hoping that we can um, get this going for them. And uh, I'm hoping it's just like right after school, like three or four hours a day kind of thing, if that's even possible. I don't know, I've never done this before. Um, but I need some guidance on what to do with Sawyer. Um, I'm very nervous uh, about my uh, his future, my future, and what life's gonna look like um, if we can't control these meltdowns and he can't figure out how to communicate his frustrations properly. Um, what a life, you know, what a life. And um, so I gotta do whatever it takes to get him the best possible life. He just fell down, is he okay? Yeah, are you okay? I know, Sawyer was spinning. You okay, Sawyer? Yeah, so. Uh, speech will be done and then we have, no, sorry, PT will be done in about 45 minutes and then uh, speech comes right after that. Busy day, like I said. Speech is here and Griffin just finished his class and she said that he said up and help. Did you say help? Did you say it? Did you say up? Oh. Well, he won't do it for me, but I'll take what I can get. That's like, we haven't really gotten new words from him in a long time. Griffin, Griffin, say up. Say up. No. How about help? Griffin. Griffin. Can you say help? Say help. I want to hear you say it. So our speech therapist just left. She sort of did pretty good, pretty good listening. I'm working on sentences, so I mean, it's going well, but you know, it's Sawyer. <laughs> you know, he's come a long way from when he was, you know, a few years ago when we didn't get much anything out of him. Here's his downstairs, hun. All right, guys, so I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thumb the video for us, we'd super appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you'd like. And don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. See you next time, bye! Bye.